you fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today a fish room tour. Grab a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back to the channel, Fishy Folks. If you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would really help my ego. And then, of course, the notification bell so you know if I release a new video. Before we get started, a couple of quick housekeeping items. You know I gotta do it. Um, plecos are on sale on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Select Plecos. Check it out. And uh, thank you for 400 followers on TikTok. I just hit 400 followers last night. Uh, link for my TikTok down below. Check that out. Become a follower if you want, if you're into TikTok. Uh, it's kind of a fun, neat little thing. I, I like it. I don't make any money from it, but I do do it because it's, it's kind of fun. All right, folks, that does it for the housekeeping items. Strap in for the tour. Well, all right, fishy folks, there have been some changes in the fish room. Uh, first, my new tool cart. Uh, it's a Rubbermaid. I got it off Marketplace. I think it was 100 bucks. Uh, I just keep all my tools for the fish room and the house in here. I bought some liners, whatever. Um, this is the workbench. You can see it's staying pretty clean and organized. Uh, I still haven't made brine shrimp in a while. I've been too lazy. Still have some rapache to make from KG Eat Aquatics. There's the rapache uh, thingy thing. Link on down below for Amazon. We got the Instant Ocean salt on the workbench. You guys might be saying to yourself, but, but Mike, you have to stay away from salt. It's not good for your heart. I don't eat it. It's for the imported guppies. I treat all the tanks with salt and I try to wean them off uh, marine water or brackish water uh, so that when I sell them and send them to you, you don't need to add salt. You certainly can if you want. It doesn't hurt, but you don't need to. My scale for shipping. Uh, this is my setup when I take pictures. There are some calico plecos in there. Obviously the light box lights up. Um, calico plecos born in my tanks, raised in my tanks on sale at michaelsfishroom.com. We got the crow flake. That's what I'll be feeding today. Uh, I don't know if I've ever showed you my, my shipping, my packing station. Uh, we got 40 hour heat packs. We got 96 hour heat packs and I just got the 72 hour ones that are in our, on intergalactic back order. There's my, you know what her name is, but we don't want to say it because then she'll, she'll, you know, talk. We got some other stuff storage up there. We got the Fritz ACCR, the Fritz Complete, Methylene Blue and some other meds I have. Um, been using Methylene Blue and salt to treat Kalmanaris. Um, doesn't really seem to help. Uh, nothing really seems to help. The triple sulfo, which is, you know, going on intergalactic back order also doesn't help. That doesn't really help. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, this is something new. Let me show you this. So I've been using deli cups, the tall ones. Here, let me just give you an example of how tall that is. See, there's my hand. I've been using those to store stuff. Uh, I love the deli cups. Like, we use them in the kitchen, obviously, but I use them all over the house now. I'll put a link down below for the deli cup. So, bottom of the workbench, disaster. We don't need to see that. All right, I know you, you didn't come here to see my workbench. You came here to see Taco, the stud with the ginormous cock. Hey, buddy. And, of course, little buddy Hank. Hank's growing nice. Anywho, let's take a look at some guppies. Uh, this is the finished product of the, this new... Uh, area. By the way, that's the tank where the um, calico bristlenose are. That's one of the dads. Look how big that guy is. That's that's pretty big. Anyway, we got the yellow snake skins over here. I, I'm I'm shocked that, that these aren't selling out. They are gorgeous. Uh, nice bright yellow. Great pattern. Great tail. <clears throat> we got these tigers down here. These are selling fast though. So. Probably won't be around much longer. And we got the extra Japan blue blue tails over there. We have some black metal lace fry that uh, are going to a very good friend of mine. She wants to try breeding guppies. So I'm gonna give her these and see what she can do. We got uh, guppies from the import order two weeks ago, still in quarantine. Some of them doing well, some of them not so well. Um, albino bristle nose babies, lots of Pleco babies. That's why plecos are on sale on michaelsfishroom.com. Uh, I also bought a bunch of plecos from uh, a local guy getting out of breeding. 
So we got a ton of browns. We got a ton of super reds. I've never put super reds on sale because I can't keep them in stock. I have so many, I have them on sale. Look at the babies. They're so adorable. Yeah. This is a mishmash of different uh, plecos. There's a super red female. There's a calico male. Uh, there's a... No, there's another brown female in the back. I think there's a huge um, albino female in here. But anyway, they have babies. Boom, the babies eating a nice uh, Indian almond leaf there. Here we have the green Moscow's that I got in that uh, that wholesale order. They already dropped two different batches of fry. Um, I didn't have much cover in there, so most of the fry got eaten, but we have some more cover, and you can see there's some fry chilling. The females look pretty skinny. They just dropped fry literally yesterday. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but they're, they're tiny. Um, oh, something else new in the workbench. The, uh, anti-fatigue mat, so that when I stand here, this is where I, I box all my fish. Um, bag and box all my fish my I don't get my feet don't hurt so much so that thing was really cheap on Amazon I'll put a link for that as well coming over here uh, yeah we were doing some manual water changes because the water so here's a, a true fact folks Rapashi does cloud the water there's no no uh, getting around that you know what else clouds the water almost every other pleco food that you feed Especially when you feed heavy like I do. I feed the bejesus out of my pleco tanks because I want them to breed and make babies and grow the babies fast so I can sell them. So the pleco food that I feed most is this cobalt ultra shrimp and veggie. And then uh, also obviously the kelp wafers and rapashi. <clears throat> I mean I also feed green beans. I fed green beans last night. You can see there are some green beans left in this tank. This is a lemon blue eye breeding tank. Uh, I thought I saw babies just now but they were just green beans so yeah. Uh, but it clouds the water. If Now if you feed one of those shrimp and veggie or kelp wafers probably no problem. But like this tank will get like I don't know eight or ten and it clouds the water. So that's why the water is cloudy folks. It doesn't bother me. Um, I was just trying to make it easier to see these gorgeous uh, metal snakeskin guppies available on the website. And these are the bluegrass, spectacular. These are the uh, green lace that I'm growing out uh, soon. I thought, I thought I'd have more males, but I only see a few males, so I'm going to let them grow out a little bit more. See if some of those females, you know, kind of change into males, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mutt Guppy indoor 90 gallon looking pretty light. Luckily we have that ginormous pond outside with you know a ton of babies and a ton of fish from you guys. Thank you so much. All right coming over here the long fin super red breeding tank. There are babies in there but uh, these guys they sell as fast as I can make them they sell so they're not on sale. I think they're 40 bucks on the website, but look, that's what you're gonna get eventually. Now, you don't get that size, obviously. That size will probably sell for $75 in a store, but the size you get, I don't know, inch and a half, inch, inch and a half, and then in a year or so, it'll be that big. Boom, gorgeousness. We got the Longfin Albino uh, Plecos. That's Longfin Albino Plecos. I don't think many of these babies are gonna be Longfins, but I guess we'll see when they grow up a little bit. Half black whites and a few angels left. Uh, Snakeskin blue tails. I sell out of this tank first because they've been here the longest. Uh, there are some babies in there that are growing up. We got the purple metal mosaic, which is really blue metal mosaic on my website. I just typed the name wrong. Uh, and super reds grow outs in here. And then over here we have more brown plecos and the tuxedo koi's, which uh, also selling pretty fast. These are great guppies. They're one of my favorites. The cute little orange face. Look at the little orange face. It's adorable. Adorable. All right. There's my heater. My buckets that are all stuck together. Blah, blah, blah. Albino red lace. I didn't like albino guppies for the longest time. And then I got a couple albinos in. And these are pretty cool. Next to the red metal lace. Uh, selling pretty quick. And, of course, blue Moscow's, which... These are blue Moscow's or blue Tarzan, and uh, what I have left really isn't high quality, so <coughs> I use these. I'm letting to see how much the grow outs grow and how blue they are. Um, you know, like like that should be, that's a, a male, right? It should be full one color, 
even that one's not full one color so they're not high quality that's left so um, they're actually out of stock on the website but uh, these go either in mutt guppy packages or I'm waiting to see how those little ones grow out to see what color we get um, you know, I try to sell only high quality stuff. Yeah, sometimes stuff gets out of here that's not high quality. What can I do? I'm human, but I try to sell you high quality stuff, high quality, healthy stuff. I know, sexy, sexy, sexy. But look at these. So these are the red crobers that I got, I don't know, six, eight months ago. They suck. Um, they're not really breeding true. Some of them are okay, but I don't know. I, I haven't sold any. I've, I've added some to Mutt Guppy packages. I've added a few to the Mutt Guppy population, but... I don't think I'm going to be selling them as red cobras. Anywho, look at the plecos. We have a giant albino female in the back. There was a giant male before, a brown male. Can't find him now, but there's a few giant adults in this tank. I mean, look at all the filtration I have. These two filters are for uh, uh, if you buy a seated sponge filter, more than likely it's going to come from this tank or this tank or actually any tank. I have them in a lot of tanks because I sell them a lot. Anywho, lots of plecos in here, all homebred, lots of snails, food for the uh, for the uh, the flower horns. We got the uh, half black blues here looking nice. These just came in in the last order. These are back up on the website for sale. I'll be shipping these on Monday. I mean, look, look at the size. Great dorsals, great color. Japanese blues, little Endler types. Uh, I've had these in the fish room for a really long time. Probably, you know, we'll be adding these to the Mutt Guppy genetics because uh, I have so many guppies for sale. Lots of filters in here too. Just uh, getting ready to take that big filter out and just leave the aquarium co-op sponge filter, my favorite sponge filter in here. What else? What else? What else? Oh, let me grab the stool and get down low and show you two projects. Actually, now three projects I'm working on. So these, these are the Rainbow Dumbo Mosaics Dirty Tank. I didn't clean. I cleaned some tanks yesterday, uh, but I didn't clean these down here. Anyway, I got these. Um, I sold out of these, and then a guy that I sold them to who breeds guppies, I bought a bunch from him, and uh, these are the Otter Creek Aquatics is the guy, by the way. And... Uh, these are about ready to go back up on the website. I have quite a few pairs in here. I'm pretty excited. Um, so, yeah. Soon. Not yet. Soon. It's another Project Violet Cobras. Um, the first batch didn't breed 100% true. So I uh, culled a bunch of um, Cobras males that had more red in the tail than blue. So... That's really not a violet cobra. That's just a, you know, some of you might call it a rainbow cobra or a mixed cobra. It's really a mutt. Uh, but you can see there's a bunch of fry on the bottom. So I'll see how they grow up, see what they look like. If they bre start breeding true, I will start selling them. If not, they'll go into the mutt uh, guppy project. These are full golds. Now, I got these, I don't know, nine months ago, and I lost most of them in quarantine. It was the first big loss of a import order that I got. Luckily, I didn't buy that many. Um, but the ones that did survive became really strong. And uh, unfortunately, in that first massive loss, there were mostly females. So when I sold my last pair, there was, I don't know, four or five adult males in here and like 15 fry. And so that's what you see. Letting the fry grow up. Hopefully, most of them are female and then we can start selling pairs again. Uh, this is just a Mutt Guppy extra tank that I just keep in case I lose Mutt Guppy, you know, main tank. But I'm probably getting ready to add these to the mix and uh, put something else in here. So, again, tanks down here I didn't clean, so I apologize. There is one Japan Blue Blue Tail female left in here. Uh, I was cleaning this tank out, getting it ready for my next order at the end of May. And uh, I missed her, and I found her this morning, so she'll come out later when I come down here and work over here we have the um, Dumbo mosaics grow out lots of fry and then over here we have the uh, bluegrass grow outs from my last order while we're down here might as well scroll over here to the albino full gold yellow ribbon these guys have so many names I'm not surprised if they would be a thousand dollars but they're not 
I, don't know, I think they're like 40 bucks on the website, maybe 30. Um, they are fantastic. If you like yellow, this is, and it's pretty rare. Um, I got a couple I got to put in the mutt tank. I saw one male with a chunk out of his tail, so we wouldn't sell that one. Males are really small compared to the females, but like, look at how gold that female is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got to stop. Albino Platinums, just a few pairs left. Uh, these are getting pretty hard to come by. Speaking of hard to come by, uh, there is a incoming ban on importing fish from uh, Asia due to the COVID outbreak there. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to import guppies, uh, at least for a while. So uh, you might see prices going up. You might see stock getting really low in a lot of places. So just keep that in mind. Uh, as you're planning on buying fish and again the albino blue topaz and uh, Albino pleco breeding tank look how cute and adorable they are. They're so little All right taco. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Look at him Folks that does it for the fish room tour. Um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job keeping the room clean and organized some people say it's still a hole, and you know it kind of is but uh what are you gonna do all right folks that does it have a great day these two filtrate these two filtrations yeah this is a mismatch miss wow this is a mismatch of a that's not even right this is a uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna do this again Fine.